Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in today. Today's video is going to be about my favorite bronzers and blushes. I get frequently asked what blush I'm wearing or what bronzer I'm wearing and with spring kind of going into summer, um, it's all about having those flushed cheeks and that nice glow from within. So I wanted to go ahead and share those with you. If you guys are interested in seeing what my favorites are, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so my favorite blushes that are my go-tos are usually baked blushes. And some of the good things about baked blushes is that they are baked in terracotta tiles, which makes it so that they're not pressed, meaning that they're not gonna be chalky, they're not gonna be ashy, and they are not gonna have any additives or fillers or chemicals in them that are not gonna be great for your face. Therefore, the application is gonna go on so smooth and so pretty. This one is from Milani. I do have two big blushes that I will be sharing with you guys. And pretty much it's just this beautiful peachy color and it looks just like this. It does have a little bit of a reflex in here, like a shimmery reflex, which I don't mind in my blushes. I love having that natural sheen to them. And sometimes if you're on the go and you forget to put highlighter on, these are the best ones to have just because they do have that small shine to them and they will leave you looking so pretty, so blushed, and just, they're so amazing. I'm actually wearing this one right now, and I just, it's my go-to. Alrighty, so this next blush is this one by Laura Geller. It is also a luxurious baked powder that creates such a radiant look on our skin once it's applied. It is multicolored liquid and it does set into a rich, just radiant finish. I love it because it's a pinky tone. It is in the shade Blush and Brighten Roseberry. It's kind of like the Luminoso one where it has that like sheen to it so again it's very nice for on the go and it just gives you that nice blushy look this is very very pretty and also one of my favorites Okay, these next two blushes are from Revlon. They are Secret Rose, which is more of a pinky color, and then I have Kiss Me Coral, which is a, peach, a peachy shade. And these two are just so beautiful. I sometimes do mix them together. And actually, let me go ahead and just give you a quick little tutorial on them because they are so pretty. Um, I am mixing Secret Rose and then Kiss Me Coral, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it right here just so you guys can see the color that this gives off and it's just very natural very pretty they do also have that um reflex in them of like shimmer but it's not overpowering it's not going to be too intense or dramatic just gives you that nice just glistening look and it provides a nice glow for on the go I think all of my blushes are like that. I honestly don't mind them having a little bit of that shimmer in them. Kind of keeps me from overdoing it with like highlight and things like that. But these two are awesome um, if you're looking into some peachy tones or corally tones or rosy tones for spring and summer. These are awesome. And I Okay, so this next little blush is gonna be from e.l.f. It looks just like this, and the name of it is Brilliant Mauve. And these are super affordable, nothing too expensive, but this shade, let me just tell you, it's everything. It is my go-to shade, especially for right now when it's really nice out, and if I do minimal makeup, this is my go-to blush. It is so pretty on the skin. It gives me that like sunburned, sun-kissed effect. And then with bronzy skin, it's just oof, so, so pretty. I definitely recommend this, especially if you are medium toned skin like myself. This would be so, so pretty on you and it will complement your skin tone so much. Okay, so this next product is gonna transition us from blushes into bronzers, and it is also a cheek palette. Um, I really, really love this product. Um, it's from Pure, and it looks just like this. It does come with three shades, and I will show you guys if I can open this. 
um, but it comes with three shades, um, blushing glow, afterglow, and then mineral glow. And these shades in here are just so perfect for like beachy tones. If you're gonna be going on vacation, it just gives me such a tropical vibe and they are just so pretty. They are also baked blushes, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this for you guys right here. And it is just the prettiest peachy color. It's super intense, super bright. It will not let you down and a little bit goes a long ways. This one also does have a little bit of that shimmer reflex in it, but it is super subtle. Again, super beachy vibes and just so, so pretty. Um, I cannot recommend this enough. This is one of my favorites. The bronzy color in this palette is just so pretty. It just gives me such a nice glow. I'll go ahead and kind of demo this out for you um, so you can see what I'm saying. You do have to tap off the excess just to make sure you don't do too much product. But sometimes it's just the perfect little topper. Did you see that? It's just so pretty. And after I've contoured and kind of finished with my makeup, I do like to go back in with this, just as I am right now, with a big fluffy brush and just kind of finishing that off. The sheen to this that it gives off, it just creates such a nice, silky, radiant look to your skin. Okay, so aside from that Pure Cosmetics little cheek palette, um, this next bronzer is from Maybelline. It is the City Bronzer, and what I like about this particular bronzer is that it is a pressed powder, and I can use it to contour and to bronze. So some of the bronzers that I have, I kind of use them more as like toppers, and I will kind of go over those um, when we get to those, but this one, for example, is perfect um, to contour my cheeks, and then I go in with a more luminous one as a topper when I'm done. Um, this one is in the shade 300 and it is just the perfect like muted tan color. It's not too orangey, it's not too brown. It doesn't leave me looking muddy or anything like that and it blends. This next one is from Milani. It is their Baked Bronzer, and it is in the shade Soleil, which is number five, and it looks just like this. It does have that shimmery uh, reflex like it does with their uh, blushes, but like I said, this is perfect. It doesn't leave a very chunky glitter on my face, and I love using this, especially if I'm on vacation. It is just the most prettiest little bronze color. It looks so bronzy and glowy and it makes me look like a bronze goddess and I definitely love this. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this for you. Okay, this next bronzer is from Wet n Wild. It is in the shade uh, What Shady Beaches and it looks just like this. I believe this is kind of one of their newer releases. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on that. What I like about this one, um, as well as the Maybelline City Bronzer, is that it doesn't have any shimmer or reflex in this one. So this one, along with the City Bronzer, I like to use for contouring. And it just gives me the nicest contour without it looking patchy or anything like that. It is a pressed powder, but it is just so nice. Um, this is a nice brown. It is not like too ashy and it is not too golden or too orangey um, and it'll work for most skin tones. Again, this is for me because I am medium skin tone. Um, so if your skin tone is similar to mine, this will work for you. Um, if you're more fair, um, I know that they do have other shades that you can try, but this is just such an awesome one and it is cheaper than the City Bronzer, but these two together are kind of, you know, similar shades. I believe this one's a little bit more warm. As you can see with the swatch on this one, it is a nice golden brown. It is not orangey or red or anything like that, which is why I love this for contouring. And it also works for and all over the face as well to set your contour in place. So this next one is an oldie but a goodie. It is MAC Give Me Sun. It is not obviously a drugstore, but honestly, this is my go-to bronzer, especially when I am more dark during the summer. This one just adds the nicest hue of bronze, and this one paired with my Milani bronzer. Ooh, girl. 
you are glowing and you just look so pretty just like the nicest most tropical bronzy look like you just got back from vacation and that's these two together they work wonderful for me as you can see it is very loved I have hit pan but I'm still you know using it I do have a backup one but it is just my ultimate favorite I love using this for every day once I'm back from vacation I mean it it doesn't fail me um, if you are more fair I'm not sure how this will kind of work for your skin tone but again um, for myself and um, just year-round this is my go-to bronzer um, and I'll go ahead and give you guys a little swatch Okay, and the final bronzer that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is this one from ColourPop. It is the Talk to the Palm um, Press Powder Bronzer. And how I love using this um, is just kind of all over. It is not one that I reach for all the time, but it is very affordable. Um, just like the City Bronzer and the one from Wet n Wild, this one is awesome for like setting your cream contour. And it just gives me such a nice look. Um, it does have a lot of kickback, so that's just one thing to look out for. It can get pretty messy. I did have to clean this up um, after I used it just because I didn't want it to look so dirty. Um, but again, super affordable if you're looking for a bronzer and your skin tone is similar to mine. This one is also a really good one. Um, but all of the products that I have shown you are pretty much awesome. They will work amazing, um, look nice on the skin, give you that nice radiant look, and then help with your contour game.